Hello, welcome to my tutorial on how to draw a blue Australian Shepherd dog eye. And I am going to be showing you how to do this on pastel matte paper with Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils. So here are the colors I'm going to be using. Payne's Gray, Prussian Blue, Persian Blue, Sky Blue, Ultramarine Light Blue, Gray White, Copic Mortem Violet Light, Light Flush Tint, um, White, and Black. In addition, I have um, these new pastel, soft pastel sticks of white and black, and I have these because they're more vibrant, so I'll use the black for the darkest parts of the pupil and the white for some of the highlights, but you can also just use the pencils if you prefer or if that's what you have. And then for blending, I have a blending stump to push it into the paper more. And I also have a color shaper, which has a plastic tip and you use it for blending without really pushing it into the paper. So for the final details. And I am using, if you're curious, a uh, handheld cheap staple sharpener because um, you know, all sharpeners work well as long as they're new. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Alright, so this is, I think, Payne's Gray. It's number 770 in the Carbothello set. And I'm just going to outline uh, the eye that I've traced. And then I'm going to um, put in the darker valleys, like the pupil. Just sort of outline it, and then just shade in these these parts okay and then like that and then I have the really dark blue which is 390. just put that where you see blue it's not as you can see it's not actually that dark but um you can exaggerate the colors and because we're going to put a lighter color on it later so like this Just go over the pupil in some black. This type of eye has, you know, some strange qualities to it. The pupils are very irregularly shaped, so just, you know, draw it as you see it. And then there's some dark around this eye, so I'm just going to put some black around there. For the pink that's in the corner of the eye, this is 642. So like that, and then you put a lighter one from 681. You put the lighter one on top where the highlights of it are. And then aside from that, it's going to be just cool colors in the eye, but I found some purple over here that I want to put in. It's very, very exaggerated right now. Okay. So then, we're going to continue. This is, again, the actual eye is a lot lighter than this, but just put it there so you can go over it with a lighter color later. This is where you want to push it into the paper, so I'm getting the blending stump, and you just push kind of hard, pushing very hard actually, so that you can then layer on top of that. I haven't marked the highlight at all because I'm going to be doing that with a very bright light like this. Um, you should be able to do it with your pastel pencil too, but 
um, this one will show up really well. So if you ever run out of layers and you need to put a bright highlight, um, use a soft pastel stick, and mine is new pastel. Okay, so now, let's see, this is a bit oddly shaped. Um, I'm going to put in the highlight at the over here so that I don't get confused. So here's how that works. You don't need a fancy sharpener, they just die on you, so just get a cheap one so you can buy them a lot, like 20 at a time, and then just use those. So now you're going to make little lines like this um always pointing toward the pupil in you know a circle around like this um the brightest parts of the eye are going to be in the middle here in this ring um not too close to the pupil and not too close to the edge so that's what where i'm putting it Okay, so then it should look like that. And a lot of our blues got muddy, so I'm going to go back with 390, whatever that is, some dark blue. And, you know, put it in the corners, wherever I see it in the reference. And you can also make those tiny lines along the edges point toward the pupil. That would make it look better. further darken the pupil, I'm actually going to use a pastel stick. You don't have to do this. Um, it's probably dark enough already, but look at how much darker that is than my other black. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but it's very, very dark. So I like doing my pupils and nostrils in, um, you know, with this, with the pastel sticks. even see the number oh it's um 110 okay it's a very very light cold gray and i'm going so the highlights of this eye are along the edges mostly so there's that other one over here and then you just use it in the same way that we did the light blue use your blending stump if you don't have one of these but I recommend um, that, oops, okay, that you get one of these it's a color shaper and what it does is it's not going to push it into the paper it's just going to move it along the surface more and I like it for these sorts of details so I am kind of blending the outside the dark blues with the black that I put outside and then I'm pulling it into the lighter colors so that you know, the transition looks better and more natural. Go around there and then do the same thing from going the black of the pupil to the light blue of, you know, the 
virus. Okay. Fixing the highlights of the ink spot here. Highlights make everything so much better. You can go from your eye looking like, you know, not very good and then you don't like it at all, but then you put in the highlights and it magically transforms it into something you actually like. So, okay. I'm just touching it up here and there. And now I'm going to add the white. So, um, for the white inside of the actual iris, don't put in as much as the other colors because this is like a brighter highlight. So you're going to put it really in the middle and not close to the pupil or the side of the eye. And if there's a particular side of the eye that's more lit up, this is when you would do that. But this eye is very much lit up in the reference. Um, okay, so then, still with the white, I'm going to just highlight there. Oh, around here. Always make sure to put the highlight under the eye. There's this one that sits on the eyelid of basically every subject, and it might not be that prominent in the reference photo, but I just added in um, anyway because it just makes the eye look more glassy. Okay, so then um, you would continue doing this in the whites in um, in pastel pencil right now, but I'm going to do it with the stick that I showed you because it will be brighter. Just fix one last thing. Sorry, there's a lot of adjusting going on right now. I'm just making tiny changes. And then you got to smooth everything out. Okay, so then this you want to be careful if you're using the stick because you don't know exactly where it's going to end up. And then try to make it a bent, you know, curved sort of line so that it goes with the eye more. Um, and especially with this dog, with this, you know, blue sort of eye, you're going to want to put blue inside of whatever white that you draw. I'm going to add that in. another one. I'm going to strengthen this highlight. Yeah, well, I hope that helped you. These eyes are certainly very difficult to draw, and yeah, thanks for watching.